right now. I guess it's a lovely shot. I am going to go to this place called Wind Lighting. I have some lamp repairs. Well, actually, I need to buy light bulbs that are like vintage. So I'm going to Wind Lighting in Burton. I have a couple lamps here that need um, rewiring. I'm real wishing I let Dennis do it when he was still doing well. Because now I'm going to have to see how much it costs to do it. But I might take it on myself. But it is electricity, so I don't know if I should do it. Even if I watch a YouTube video, we'll see. So, yeah. I'm going to see how much this cost. But I need some special light bulbs because some of my lamps are not working right now. Those, I need a couple little ones. Look, I have this. And another one. My mom gave me this floor lamp that's really cool and old. But it takes a three-way and this bulb is like huge. You can't get this anymore. All you can get is the LEDs. Saginaw Street over by Bristol and yeah I'm pretty excited to go fix part of my lamp graveyard. It's even bigger in the basement but yeah. Another thing with lamps. I'm really surprised I remembered to do this because I have been wanting to do this for like two years but I keep forgetting to go to win So I have not been able to get over here. I have no idea what this is going to cost. You guys want to guess before I go in and tell you? Tracy gave me one of them, and then I got another one at a thrift, 
or maybe the one that Tracy gave me, I left at Red Ink, and this is a new one. I don't know, I've got a thing with lamps, and I can't leave them at the thrift if they look interesting. to me ramble this is it she's right over by Raleigh's on Saginaw Street and Kenneth it is a time capsule of a store It was a full success. I learned a lot. <laughs> that man hooked me up, told me exactly. They didn't have the bayonet style light, lights for the lamps that I had. So he showed me how to look them up. He told me exactly what I'm looking for. Um, and I have to go to Joanne's for one. One is like a sewing machine light. And then the other one is... Um, I can find that auto parts store so I am gonna do that for the two little desk lamps that hang over I got a mogul light that was the big um, light bulb the three-way one it is now LED that sucker cost 17 bucks but he told me it'll probably last me about 13 years so <laughs> it's all good and then I was able to purchase those little tube lights um, they were, I got two with the soft white and then two clear ones. I don't know the name for those, but those were rather cheap. He said, once those are gone, I'll never be able to get them again because they're not LED. They're still incandescent. And then um, I got a new cord for the big lamp and that was $7.00. He showed me how to do it myself because I can do it. <laughs> I got a new slip-on plug for the light that I have for the bar, the little um, ship light. My dad, I'm pretty sure his dad brought that over. But you turn the wheel, it's like a ship wheel, and that's what, in the bar, downstairs, our lamp fixture is actually a ship wheel, steering wheel, I don't know the name of it. I have never claimed to be a specialist on ship wheels or whatever, but um, anyway, yeah, so we're back in business with some lights. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to an auto store after I get the girls um, all squared away in that home, but he was so helpful and he had me writing notes so I know what to look for. and. Now I just need to dig up some more lamps. I have a lamp graveyard when I tell you I am not even joking. I 
have so many, and I also have a sewing machine graveyard. I have a chair graveyard. No, no for real though, they're all dead. They're dead. <laughs> the cats killed them. But, and the dogs. But, why am I talking about chairs? I'm talking about graveyards, apparently. Alright guys, thanks for listening. It was real fun. Going to the light store. Oh yeah, winds lighting. Let me say it right. Wind Electrical Supply Company. Check it out if you are in the area. They're what's up. They're very helpful. It's like a time capsule and they're very knowledgeable. And yeah, I love them. Okay, bye guys. I'm driving in the GP. It's the only place I got lots of tickets. Gotta go. So now I am going to the auto store and Joanne's to get the parts for these guys. The parts for these guys. They're special kind of light bulb. One is gonna... All right, I'm about to find out if my lamp experiments are gonna work. My lamp DIY day, please. Okay, I'm back. So, I have used the Sylvania Long Life 93 light bulbs and plug them in. They look like this. So, I now Out. I already tried it when I was talking to Andy. We are back in business. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. And then it's got this little arm. And then I have this one. Same, I took the Sylvania 93, the 15 watt, get excited, so both of these work, two thumbs up, because I am so excited, I cannot believe, so I got these batteries at O'Reilly Auto Parts Store. You can get them anywhere, I think, that sells, like, car stuff, Meyer, Wally World, um, any auto parts store. Those are what fit these. They did not have those at Wins Lighting, but the nice gentleman at Wins Electric Supply told me about these and had me write down notes. So, two lamps. Looking good so far. Okay, so the next one is this. While I was there, he fixed the plug. He replaced just this. The cord was good enough to work with, and he replaced this cord. It was $3.50. And I stopped by Gilroy's and purchased a couple incandescent lights. They just had a couple left. This is my favorite. I, I am not one for LEDs. Some of them are okay to me, but... The price is a little much. I mean, I understand they're going to last longer, but I don't know. I like my incandescent light. I like the vibe. Okay. The test. It's time. Okay, do you guys think this is going to work? The plug was busted, I believe, in two pieces. I think I showed it to you. On the way there, we got this new plug. We have the incandescent light from Gilroy's Hardware, the time capsule of hardware. Okay, test the time. Look at this. I gotta get my cute little lampshade that I had on it before. Back in business. Okay, next. Who's next? I'll be back. Okay, this is my next beauty. She, her light was 
burned out. This takes the 25 watt incandescent tube light and they are switching over to LEDs. So he said, okay, I'm back. I had to do this. I think I have to do this a little or it's a spike with fire. But this is my girl and her light was dim and I love her. This is the night light for my room. And okay, she takes the 25 watt incandescent light, is what had burned out. This was the original, but um, well, I don't know if it was the original, it's what was in it when I owned it. And um, I bought four because they were a dollar 20 each, and well, two were a dollar 21, was a dollar 60. I don't know. I got the clear and the soft white but he said these are this is the end of the incandescent lights they're switching to LED because that's all they sell now even though people said I was a conspiracist when I talked about it initially but it's okay so anyways we're gonna see if she's gonna glow okay hold up oh this is fancy I don't like the packaging. Okay, let's try her out. Okay, now. Now is the test. Okay, do you guys think this thing should gonna work? Oh, there she's already working. Super cool. I am so excited these are working. But she's cool, like how she turns on and like the sound. I'll have to test out what it looks like with uh, clear light too. So now I'm going downstairs to get the floor lamp that took this big mogul light. Like I wasn't gonna go all out and get this because this is more than I anticipated spending on replacing this because this one was seventeen dollars. It's a, a mogul in mogul LED light, but it's got three way and he said this will last me thirteen years, so I was like, okay, sold. I'll be right back with the light. Okay, so this is the test. The cord looks like mine's here. might be taking this light back. She said if it didn't work, I could take it back. I might need them to redo the cord on this. Look at this. That's a big light. Voila. All right, so here goes me trying to fix this on my own because I wanted to save $20. So let's hope I don't die over $20 on this. I feel like he will let me know well what I need to do so I can take this little part off. And I gotta get my notes because this is where I wrote down smooth side gold rich I he helped me know what side was smooth and what side had a ridge he explained to me that's the smooth and the ridge I don't know if you guys can see it
Rich has little lines on it. You can't see them. Sweet apple cake. Um, with the smooth one is this one. Okay, so the smooth is going to go on the gold side. And the ridge is going to go on the silver side. So he said just under these a little. So it's like it'll go all the way. So I'm going to unwrap them. Don't do this on your own. This is dangerous. I am crazy, so I don't have to do it. I'm going to pay $20. I wanted this lamp to work. I bought it on Marketplace for $25, and I'm in love with it. Okay, so, he helped me cut it out of there earlier. So, he said, I'm going to want to thread this into this hole. Earlier there was a felt piece on the bottom we ripped open to get to this. They make felted pieces. I think it's good. Put a knot in it too will make it even easier. See, it won't get messed. The electrical won't get messed with. So I'm going to do that. Like if someone rips on it. A lot of people do like a little not so that it I'm gonna do this. Okay. So it can't get pulled big time when someone yanks on it or whatever. So I'm gonna thread these through here. So we've got, this is a ridge line. You can see like little, can you guys see that? It's got little lines in it. And then this is a smooth line. So the ridge line is going to wrap around the silver. And I think you can get electrocuted if you don't do it right. So, so I say don't do it. How to get my dad's crackhead. Gold is. Why does it look like this? Rigid silver. Gold is smooth. Gold looked like it was rigid, but somewhere it went. I'm going to pause this a minute. Okay, so I believe I got it right. I might need to take it off. More wire exposed. I'm not for sure. We're going to find 
All right, so I've got this piece again. So once you get that on, just pop it off. Yep, I see it. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this is going to work. to post this video. Okay. All right. This is... Oh. oh my god, I did it. You guys, I did it. I did it. Okay, so this is one of my favorite lamps. Okay, so I got that on. I'm going to loosen the finial. Get the shade back on. Oh my god. I have not been able to use this since I bought it because it was such a fire hazard. Silver. Yay. Yay. I have a lamp. I have my lamp graveyard is now alive. Oh. So all these lamps now work. I'm super excited. So and then I have this beauty, this one, this one, this one, this one. I have more that I need to get fixed, but they are all in working order. I'm super excited and feel like I accomplished quite a bit that I've been thinking about lately. All right. Peace. Thanks for watching. I did it. I did it. Lola's super embarrassed for me right now. I don't care. I did it.